Alright, welcome back everybody. There is a problem in Lady Zuna's belongings. This is Wolf the Fallen, and I have a cat on me. What has happened? Hey, you just say the same thing. Yeah, so, so there's a problem. The lady have such a thing? I don't know, let us go find out. What is she talking about? She's talking about a sphere that uh, they saw. In her belongings. Why this they were peeping? Well I don't know. A few questions. Maybe it will. So, those of you who remember the Thunder Plains, this is, uh, this is the sphere that Lady Yuna was watching before Titus pervertedly peeked in on her. What's going on? Let us find out. What I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. Unclouded? I swear it on my honor as a Quado. Quados have honor? Listen to me Rock very on. carefully. For I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. So that's where Seymour his gets his blue hair from. To me, a of and wacky hairdo. But I can feel flames of darkness burning what in his heart. What if that says anything on his chest there? It's like Yevon, a brooch or something like that. And even the what if you call it? Using him for what? If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. Why does he want to do that? What are, you, what are you talking about? Leave this world soon. Killed by my own son. What? But what? I do not fault Your son you. killed you? Because Seymour. I Seymour killed you. Wise enough. How the hell did he, he kill you? Has suffered and become twisted. Yeah, he's twisted, all right. I could not protect him and his mother Creepy from too. the world and its cruelty. I what do you will mean? accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is but, watching this, I mean, I implore you to stop, Seymour. Stop, my son. Okay, but I mean, dude. What did you do that was so bad? Wonderful. I don't think they really you ever explain right. that. I, I, I think they kind of do, but not Without us. majorly. No. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. Damn straight. But he's a maester. I don't uh, care. Fine. Stay here if you want. Yeah, you tell him to. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. Oh, it never this hurts to hear somebody out. It's all right, Waka. So let's us, uh, get some treasure. Blah blah. Thank you. I don't need them. I don't trust you with that. Maybe I should keep it. What is that? Okay, you don't say anything new. <laughs> Ronso, he. Bavel will hear about this. You know what? You shut up. I don't like you, Priest. You can talk to a Waka there, he'll have some weapons and item for you to uh, buy, but uh, I don't really care. Alright, let us go. We will protect Yuna from anyone. Even a maester. Orin's like <laughs> Yuna's uncle. Uh, this can't be happening. If he is truly at fault, Boobies? must be done. I mean, Lulu? See? Never miss an opportunity. Oh, look at that, they already did the cloister for us, alright. So we don't have, uh, yeah, there's no cloister for this temple, people. So we just go straight ahead. Into some plot-turning, big-time plottiness that plots. Walk for dramatic effect. Can't talk to anybody. Seymour! Please, Seymour! Shut the hell up. Screw you! Make me. Damn straight. That's where Titus kind of rocks. Titus is really awesome in this scene. Give her your stupid bow that... Whoa, that's a really thick bow. Dude, what is that, like styrofoam? Did they just nod to each other like, I want a banger. No, I want a banger. Whoa, let's fight. <laughs> We're your friend. Logical sphere. Yeah. You killed him. I did. What of it? Yeah, what's of it? Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? Did you? Well then, why <sighs> have you come here? Why did you I... keep this stuff from me, Yuna? I came to stop you. Damn straight, let's stop him. I see. 
We're gonna stop you, Seymour. You came to punish me, then. You sicko, not like that, no. Know what kind of punishment you're thinking of, and we're not doing that. Get away from me. Dude, cut your toe and cut your fingernails, man. What a pity. What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. I remember a flamboyant, some another flamboyant man that uh, said "What a pity!" a lot in another Square Enix game. Maester Seymour. It was the first game of that series I played. But they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. For your friends, then why didn't you trust us? I will fight you too. That looks. That scene, I don't know, looks funny and stupid, kind of. Maester Seymour! So be it. Ah. Uh, Alright. So first thing you want to do is make sure the cat is not chewing on the cord. These things will cast Protect on themselves. And he will cast Shell. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to talk first to Seymour. You may be a maester, but I will still fight. And Your eyes, they individual stats off. will boost. They, they, they don't. They help a bit, but not a lot. It's not a big deal. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Yeah, you're a little creepy. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Shut the hell up. Seymour! Asses. Mario Oka. Not every but only main only characters that have uh, important roles in the fight this. will actually talk. And this only happens I think two or three times ah, through the I think it's three times in the game. Right. So uh that's not what I meant to do. Bring out the first thing you want to do is you want to steal from these guys. Because what will happen is if you hit them, they'll counter with... They'll counter with Auto Potion, which will increase their HP by a thousand. And that will be really annoying, you'll, ne you'll never get rid of them. And then just lay into them with your physical attackers. So steal potions! And Seymour just has an ether. I don't really care. Seymour will just cast spells. If you try attacking Seymour, the guards will just run in front of him. Actually, Kamari. Let's use a limit break for you. Boom! Lulu won't do much damage, but just to get him out of the way. So, go at him with physical damage. Actually, I should have used Lulu to cast damage on the Guado. Feel my pain. Come, Anima. Anima. So we all remember this guy, don't we? So! Here what you do, um... Call in Yuna's new oh, Aeon! Lend me strength. Yeah, damn straight. Summon... Question mark. Question mark man. Mega Man's greatest nemesis. I don't know if I'll be able to get all this in one video. I'm, I might have to fast forward some of this, this battle.
So just attack the crap out of it. Pain? That is an instant death if, uh, if you're not immune to it. So just keep attacking. Every second turn it will do uh, a boost. And then it will do uh, do a boost and then it will do a pain. That's basically what it will do. Pain in my ass, that's what it is. But luckily Shiva has... Uh, what is it? Uh... Lizera? Black Magic Blizzara. Oh, it's such a slow attack. Let's make sure it's down. Should take out, uh... Her overdrive will take out... Um max HP, so I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, oh, if I haven't said it, I, I think you can kind of figure out who the hell this is. Uh, if it's not clear, and I, I think you kind of knew who it was going to be when they said the Makalania Ice Temple. I kind of figured... I'm assuming if you've played any Final Fantasy, you would you would know what the hell uh, Aeon you were going to get here. Huh, what are you chicken out already? I might actually get all this in the video. What you could do is if you came to battle with Okay. If you came to battle with um her overdrive gauge full, then you would have been able to pull it off twice in a row and been able to finish anime off, anima off in two turns. Alright, come on. Don't go slow for now. Let's go speed this up a bit. So, bring out Orin. Doesn't have much left. Bushido, shooting star. Enter the button combo. No, for normal enemies, this causes, um... Ooh. Oh well. He finished off. Notice, uh, Waka's getting stronger. Anyways, shooting star, what it will cause a stat effect, if you enter the button combo correctly, it will cause a status effect called eject, which eliminates the enemy from a battle, and it automatically gives you an overdrive. I did not get an overdrive there, unfortunately. Normally Orin's, uh, normally Orin does get one. I guess I didn't bring him down far enough. So, there. We took on the main villain. Game's almost done. All we have to do is defeat Sin, and get to Xanarkin and defeat Sin. You would cool. pity me now. I do kind of feel sorry. When you when you get to the end of the game and get more into Seymour's history, you, you kind of do pity him and feel a bit more for him. I mean, he's still freaking crazy, but... Uh, you do kind of understand why he does what he does. I mean, you understand he's one of those people who is just driven insane by all the crap in the world, like everything that's done to him. And you understand. You don't agree with it, but oh God, don't pull a Scooby Doo moment. Oh, actually, this isn't a Scooby Doo moment, but don't pull a you know like. Wait a minute, it's not our fault at all. Yeah, we didn't do anything. Seymour's they come in at the back. moment, you know. They come Look in at the at moment this. that they're... We killed them, like, screw yeah. you. Send him. Where are you going, Arn? No, stop! Stay away from him, traitors! We are not the traitors. You are the traitor. Now we get to battle Tremel. No, no we don't. We're finished. Come on, guys. Now hold on just a minute. See yeah. the bad guy, right? He is a bad guy. Everyone, what happened? This is a game, so he's a it bad guy. Be that easy. Let's get out of here. Good advice, Orin. So, 
Uh, Shiva. So, yeah, that's who the Ice Queen is if you didn't figure out who, uh, who it was. So, I'm going to stop it here, folks. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.